Yo, I go by Aster the Gemini. I write poems and I make music and shout out gang. <laughs> we in this joint. <laughs> um, hold up. You know I like to thank you leg. You know. I used to be a, a professional Wu Tanger. <laughs> at the age of um 12. <laughs> and couldn't no one yo couldn't no one see me. I'm not gonna flex. Couldn't no one see me. Like I was Wu Tang <laughs> Yo <laughs> Yo I can't do it now, I can't do it now, I ain't gonna flex. Facts. I was on it. Yo, I was on it. They saw I was having flashbacks. He was like, yo, I can't imagine it now after hitting the routine. Lunar Flare is a, is a concept I've created. Um, I've created because you feel me, like, as a JIT, my, my granddad, the first game he gave me was um, a game called Kingdom Hearts. You feel me? So I really, I really like that game, like, a lot. I was like four or five, and then, it got me into like a lot of like fantasy stuff, like RPG stuff, stuff like that. So like, I just a, a, a concept I created in the sense of like giving 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 people something else to be entertained with, like outside of like hip hop, in a sense, like something different. But um, I'm not gonna say too much about it. When it come out, y'all see it. You feel me? But it's very different in that sense. So when y'all see it, hope y'all hope y'all hope y'all like it. <laughs> Drums. 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 And if you do wings, a little bit, get off this. Stop watching the interview. I'm tired of you. My girlfriend vegetarian, so she didn't even got a, a comment on this. Drums. That's all I'm gonna say. Rick Ross. Drums. A man of culture. <laughs> Oh, the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I write EYE is off of a video game I used to play called um, DC Universe Online. Um, only because, like, I used to read comics. My dad, my dad put me on a whole bunch of stuff when I was a kid. So I used to read comics. And then off of the comics, I used to read this old thing. Uh, I forgot. It was this dude. It was this OMAX series or whatever. And it's this dude called Brother I. You feel me? He was a villain. And whenever he wrote, whenever they would write his own, um, when he would talk and he speak by himself, it would put E Y E I in the third person. You feel me? And it says he's talking about himself in the third person, but at the same time, in the first person, he's saying I. You feel me? That I was so dope. So I started doing it from time to time. You feel me? But then um, I started doing that when I was like 13, 14. And then it was annoying because that's when Joy Badass started doing it on Twitter. I don't know if y'all peep. And then everybody thought I was just um, trying to like steal his sauce. Cause I, I really liked his music too at the same time. But I wasn't. But uh, I wasn't really telling nobody where I wrote it, you feel me? I wasn't telling them because at the same time I was really I was really on my spirituality stuff, you feel me? I was really I was really meditating, I was really out here, I might go flex. I had to stop that. I don't got time for it no more. I don't make time for it no more. But I was really out here on my spirituality. And I just stopped. But the EYE thing don't stop. People tell me to stop, but my grandma don't care. And my auntie don't care, my mom don't care, so I'm not gonna stop until I feel like it. Until my kids tell me stop. So that's why E Y E. It is I asked to the Gem Gemini. Ooh. Chocolate. Just regular chocolate. You said chocolate? Alright, chocolate. I feel like dark chocolate too much. Thank God. Thank God. I ain't gonna say that. But you know, chocolate. I just like <laughs> I like chocolate, bruh. Chocolate. I ain't gonna say that so on camera, but yeah, milk. You said milk chocolate? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Milk chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Milk chocolate. <laughs> let me get eleven fingers. Hold on. Let me get. Let me get eleven fingers. Cause first off, I feel like if I had nine toes, my dad got nine fingers. I'm gonna be hundred with y'all. And if I had nine toes, I know he would just. This owned me as a child, and he would probably have named me some other shit besides Miles, like Toes, and 
I would just hate my, I wouldn't be a rapper. I probably, I probably would have made my career off of, you know, instead of writing I all the time, I probably write toes. <laughs> so, thank God. <laughs> I, I got 10 toes to be on a hundred with y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. It's gonna have a little Gemini sound on it. You know, I got, I'm gonna have a little iced out. You feel me? Uh, it's gonna be nice. Gemini song. Probably like a little, probably because I, I like to play on a Gemini with the gem. So I want like all type of gems in it, like rubies, diamonds, emeralds. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm fuck with that. <laughs> uh, uh, last song I have to do. This might sound corny, but I have to like write. I have to write. I have to get it. I have to get it off my chest. Like what I'm feeling at that moment, in a sense, or like what I feel is going to come at that moment. And it doesn't matter who really sees the writing, as long as I got that off my chest. You feel me? That's all that really would matter to me. I'd have to just write something, like write for the last time. After the Gemini is a rapper slash poet slash boyfriend. Um, shout out Floyd Ferry. Um, you know, I write poems from time to time. I like going to open mics. I like I like doing spoken word competitions. I like doing stuff like that. I'm not going. I don't ever want to lose that side of me ever in my life. You feel me? Um, I see rapper poets and rappers, and sometimes I think they're corny. I'm not going to lie, because I feel like it's corny when people try to switch up from like real deep stuff and then start talking about some like some trap stuff like some trap shit like you feel me and I think that's just corny only when it come off corny like if you don't got the energy or you don't got the swag with it don't do it bro stick stick to, stick to your poems stick to your raps you feel me and I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal but because there's obviously rappers and poets out there who do their thing you feel me but if you can't do both don't do both it's not for you but as to the Gemini is a poet slash rapper slash both boyfriend, you feel me? And yeah, I just make art. I want to appreciate art. I appreciate art. I go to shows sometimes because I don't that I don't even perform at. I just want to look at the art around me and the um, rappers and the poets and like the you know the fashion and I just want to peep all that other stuff. So I, as to just a person who who appreciates art and wants to spend his life appreciating art and making art as well the best he can. That's pretty much it. Okay. Oh. It's okay. That was a perfect way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. This is exactly who Ashton the Gemini is. Shout out Game. Shout out Floyd. <laughs> <laughs>